I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. but powerful cameras that can shoot almost anywhere and almost anything. Now, GoPros are renowned for making cool and epic videos, but they are not really thought of as good for making cinematic high quality footage. So today I'm going to show you how I shoot and then edit GoPro footage to make it look as cinematic as possible. GoPro Hero 6, so some of these settings will be different for you if you're using a GoPro older than the Hero 5. But everything else will apply to users of almost all action cameras. In my opinion, 1080p footage tends to look soft and pixelated on GoPros, so if your GoPro allows it, you should try to set it to 2K or higher. I usually shoot in 4K on my Hero 6. Next, you want to set your frame rate. Now, generally 24fps is considered filmic, but I like to be able to shoot slow motion or semi-slow motion on my GoPro. So I alternate between 24 FPS and 120 FPS. Another big thing is to not shoot in linear mode. I know it's really tempting, but always shoot in wide. It allows you to get the highest quality footage, and then you can always adjust the distortion in post. We will get into how to do that later on in the video. Next, if your GoPro has it, turn on the internal stabilization feature. This allows you to help smooth out your footage so you don't get that annoying jitter. There is a bit of crop with the stabilizer on, but this just makes your field of view narrower, and it's totally worth it. footage and posts I shoot mostly in the ProTune picture profile, which makes the recorded look relatively flat. Now, unless you're filming directly into the sun, overexposure is often an issue, especially if you're moving the camera around quickly like you would if you were shooting most action sports. Usually this isn't a big deal, but if you want to shoot professionally, it's good to be aware of. To avoid overexposure, I usually turn down the exposure compensation in the camera to about negative one. This seems to work for most situations. Speaking of exposure, one of the most important things to get that GoPro footage cinematic is to turn the ISO way down. I normally set both the minimum and maximum ISO to 100 or 200 ISO. Any higher and you get a lot of unwanted noise that distorts your image and makes it a lot harder to grade. I also like to turn down the sharpness for more flexibility in post. GoPros tend to over sharpen their footage, so by turning the sharpness down to low, I have much more flexibility when editing to adjust the sharpness. So let's take a look at how to edit your GoPro footage to get a cinematic look. I'm using HitFilm Pro, but all of this can be done in Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, or DaVinci Resolve as well. As you can see, I already have this footage dragged onto my timeline. And the first thing you need to do if you didn't shoot in linear like I said you shouldn't, is to correct the fisheye look. In Adobe you can find that same effect under the preset tab. In HitFilm this is just called Action Cam Lens Distortion. Start by dragging this effect onto your clip. And once you do, you can see that there is a bunch of presets to choose from. You can just choose the one that you shot with or if they don't have it, since they don't have the Hero 6 or the Hero 5, just drag the slider until your footage loses that fisheye look. Now, this next part is rather subject to your shot, and if you really aren't that good with editing, you can simply use the brightness and contrast effect. But I use the curves effect since it gives me a lot more control. Adjust these to adjust the brightness and contrast of your shots. Once you have these adjusted to your shot, you will need to color correct the footage. 
Start by dragging on the hue saturation effect and adjusting the saturation to your taste. I set mine to around plus 15 to compensate for the flat footage I shot earlier. Now I usually pull the hue to about negative 5 because GoPros seem to always have a little bit of a greener hue. Inside this effect you can go through and adjust the individual colors, hue, and saturations. Again, this depends on your shot. Now you should already have a much more cinematic looking image and you can totally leave it at this. But there is one more thing I like to do when adjusting my GoPro footage. I like to do most of the contrast with the color instead of with the light levels to preserve the camera's dynamic range since GoPros don't really have that great of a dynamic range to start with. To do this, I like to add a subtle teal and orange gray. You can achieve this look by dragging the color wheels effect on and going to the highlights and pushing them towards orange a bit, and pushing the shadows to a tealish color. I also like to push the mid-tones to an orange color as well. This can be as subtle or dramatic as you want. Now, if you want to add the black bars I added to my footage, you can do this by either changing the aspect ratio of your project or just by adding an image overlay. This is the method I usually prefer because it allows me to adjust the framing of my video underneath it to give me even more control over the look of the shots. GoPros will always be the ideal camera for filming action sports, but for filmmakers like us who need a small camera, GoPros can certainly shoot cinematic footage. But that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willoughby, and I'll see you next week.